get started with questions for Raymond. We'll go to Marcus on the left. <coughs> Dre, can you, can you talk about how like good Steph was uh, against the type of defense they were playing and when it kind of clicked for him? I thought he was incredible. Um, and, and most importantly, his decision making was great. He got off the ball. Um, he didn't drive into traffic. He took what the defense gave him. I think for the first probably six minutes of that game or so, he had zero points. Wasn't forcing anything. Let the game come to him. And, you know, uh, we all followed that. Question in the back. Uh, Robert Latow, BSO, right here, Draymond. Um, rightfully so, we always speak about Steph like you just did offensively. Can you talk a little bit about how good defensively he was uh, tonight um, on the switches, locking people up, and doesn't get a lot of credit for that a lot of the times? Uh, he never does. I've, you know, I've been talking about it for the last couple of years of how much he's improved on that side of the ball. Um, you know, teams used to try to call him into every action and just try to pick on him. That doesn't work anymore. You know, he he sit down, he guards, and and you know we all we're all there behind him if if he does need help. But he hasn't been needing that often, and it's great. You know, he's I've spoke about how much stronger he is. He's able to hold his ground, so you're not able to bump him off his spot, and that's been huge for us. And you know, I'm not shocked he's playing that type of defense. He's been doing that, like I said, for the last couple of years. Howard on the right. Hey, Draymond, in, in your uh, past finals runs, you guys always had a lot of proven firepower around Steph, whether it was KD or Clay in the past. Feels like this is a little bit different, at least through these first couple of games. It's a lot of Steph and then just trying to find where the rest of that offense comes from. Are you guys feeling that? Is this going to have to be done a different way? Oh, well, I think our offense is always a lot of Steph. It all starts um, with Steph, whether, you know, when KD was here, our offense still started with Steph. And, you know, that's that's the way it's going to be. I think, you know, when you're playing against a team like that, you have to get offerings from other places and not just Steph. And I think for the most part, you know, we did a pretty good job of that. Um, you know, Clay, what, four for 19, had a tough one. But, um, you know, that happens. And we know he'll make shots as, as this series continues to go on. But uh, we didn't we didn't turn the ball over, and I thought that was very important uh, in this game. Is is keeping them out of transition and making them play against our defense. Tim, hey Draymond, it's pretty clear you guys turned the intensity way up, especially on defense. Uh, was have you been able to guard Jalen Brown? Was that part of it? How how big a part do you think that had it in? And what was the general kind of attitude going in? I think everybody played with with more force. It wasn't just me on Jalen Brown. It was across the board. If I just pick up my force and no one else does, it doesn't work. You know, so that's a total team effort. Uh, guys being ready to help when help is needed, um, and and guys taking on the challenge at the point of attack. So, uh, yes, I wanted to come out and be more aggressive on that side, um, and I think I did a good job of that. But that's a that's a full team effort. It doesn't just work because of one guy. Question in the back. Oh, Ron, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. Ron Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. You said yesterday uh, they needed to feel you when they had the ball, when you guys were on defense. Do you feel like you achieved that tonight? And, and how does – did that? you feel like that starts with you, like you have to set the tone on that side of the ball? That's my job. Uh, just like I said, Steph Curry sets the tone on the offensive side of the ball. It's my job to set the tone on the defensive side of the ball. And I wanted to do that from the very beginning of the game. And, you know, first play we come up with a jump ball, then we come up with a turnover. So uh, very important um, for me to come out that way on that side, and I have to continue to do that this series – it's not getting any easier. It's only getting tougher. So got to take that up even another couple notches. Hey, Draymond. Clearly, you had that force. You were pushing it. But from the jump ball to maybe even the dead ball technical with Grant situation with Jalen, Jalen, um, do you know, are you pushing it to where you think the edge is? Like actively, you, are you thinking that, OK, I can push it to here because my team needs that sort of energy? No, nah, we need that energy anyway. So um, for me to sit back and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to push it to this edge and try to pull it back, that don't work. Um, I got to be me. And so uh, with, with the first tech, it is what it is. I, that's not going to stop me from being aggressive or doing what I do on a basketball court. Just got to live with the results. Next one on the right. Draymond, Gary has quite the remarkable journeyman story, um, just with everything he's been through. And then obviously getting a tough break in the Memphis series where he breaks his elbow, uncertain whether or not he would be able to even make a return, you know, this postseason. What was it like to see him, you know, get the opportunity tonight and, you know, hit that corner three? It's incredible. Um, you know, he's he's 
like you said, he's had quite the journey. And to see him finally get over the hump and play the way he did this year, uh, number one, uh, what I think GP played one preseason game and, and made the team and, and just continued to battle, became a, a main key piece in, in our rotation. And, you know, it was tough losing him uh, in that Memphis series, but we're able to overcome it, then able to overcome Dallas and give him an opportunity to get back, give Andre an opportunity to get back. So uh, to see him finally get that opportunity and come in, and I know it was hard on him missing the, couple, the first couple of free throws and to step in there after that and knock down that three, um, having very little reps of shooting the basketball since that Memphis series, it just shows who he is. That's the reason he's here, though. You know, uh, I, most guys can't step up in that situation, but uh, GP, he's he's tough and and he's built the right way and he stepped up and he gave us some good minutes tonight. Middle. Hey Draymond, how did you see uh, Jordan work his way through the ups and downs of tonight's game? I thought he I thought he did really well. He had a tough time there um, in that second quarter, I think it was, and you know he went he checked out. Steph came back in. We kind of got the game under control, and he just stayed the course. He never wavered. And that's important, you know, uh, when you're playing against a tough defensive team like that, sometimes it's going to be hard for a while. And you just have to stay the course and get that breakthrough. And he stayed the course. He didn't uh, start forcing things. He, um, he continued to play within offense. And then things start going his way a little bit. Home on the left. Draymond, in your words, like in the game one, you said you guys dominated him for the first 41, 42 minutes, and they kind of fell apart. Tonight, you blow them out after halftime. Was tonight more just about a, like an attitude adjustment for you guys? Really? I think it was definitely an attitude adjustment. Um, you know, like I said, we, we didn't play with enough force the entire 48 minutes. We had spurts where we played with the right amount of force in game one. But overall, against a team like that, you can't let your foot off the gas pedal. All they need to see is one shot go in, and, and it can start a domino effect. And so uh, we knew, like I said last, uh, last game, they are who we thought they were. And so we knew we had to keep our foot on the gas pedal and not let up, and we did that, and we are able to come out with the win. Vince in the middle. Vince Goodwill, well, y'all sports. Draymond, you were turning them over in the first half. You kind of were getting a lot of things that you wanted, yet you were still only up two before that third quarter explosion. What was that confidence level like, that the consistency, if you keep pressing it, either they're going to crack or they're going to break? What was that like? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you know, when you're playing against a good team, they're not going to waver. You know, they're, they're going to continue to play their game, whether it's going their way or not. Um, last game, it was the same thing. Like, I thought we were playing great and we didn't create much separation. separation. Then we did. Difference was we gave it back. Uh, tonight we didn't want to give it back, but ultimately, you know, we always talk about playing 48 minutes, and uh, and if we do that, we feel like they'll break at some point. Not just them, just over the course of a season. If we can get put a good 48 minutes together, you trust in that work, and hopefully they'll break. And we were able to pull ahead tonight. Sam in the middle. Sam A make the athletic Dre. I wonder just your feelings on the overall mental side of the game, because you've been so complimentary of their defense, how physical they are. We know who they are, and then you're you're deliberate with what you do. So you send messages individually tonight with physicality, with force. Uh, but as a unit, are you guys where you want to be when it comes to the mental side of this game in this this matchup? I think I think you know we're getting there. I think it's a, it's a constant thing. You know, confidence goes up, it goes down. That's just the way the game works. But I think overall, we're in a great mental space. Nobody panicked. Everybody stayed the course and ultimately knew if we go out and play our game, we put ourselves right back in a position to take control of the series. Now, we haven't taken control of it yet, but we've put ourselves in position to go and take control of it. So uh, that's, that's, that's the important thing. And for me, um, you know, you have to send a message. Guys, follow me on that side of the ball. If I'm not sending a message, then who's sending that message? So. Um, I, I'm not going to just come and sit in front of y'all and hold myself accountable and not back it up. You got to be about what you talk about, and I take pride in that. Last couple of questions, Monty on the left. Draymond, you, did you sense that third quarter explosion coming because soon as Clay, who had been struggling all night, hit a three, Eme was up on the timeout. Did you sense what what was coming after that? I mean, I, I felt like it was coming the entire game. I thought we were playing really good basketball, and we just didn't pull away. But if you stay the course, you continue to play that basketball, it'll eventually go your way. And so I thought we did a good job of that. And, you know, we we feed off of it. Uh, when Clay hits shots, you know, it, it gets us going. And so it was good to see him knock that shot down, and that started to run for us. Final question on the right. Right at Scoop Robinson, Valley Sports. Dre, um, when I looked at uh, Wiggins, I like the way that he kind of 
uh, altered a lot of Tatum shots throughout the course of the game, kind of got him out of his rhythm. You was a premier defender in my mind. Uh, what did you make of the way that he covered uh, Jason Tatum tonight? I thought he was incredible. I thought he did a great job last game as well. And JT got something to go early, but ultimately you got to just stick with it for 48 minutes and, and to make those shots tough. You know, it's hard to shut guys down that are that good. And so you just got to trust the fact that if you make the shots tough over the course of the game, that they'll miss some. And Wiggs has been incredible all all playoff long. I mean, really, for the most part, all season long on the defensive end. But it's really taking it up a couple notches in these playoffs. And, you know, we need him to continue to do that. He's our uh, he's our primary wing defender. And, you know, when when speaking of another team's go to guy and he's he's doing a great job of that and we feed off that, uh, it's very important to how you're guarding the ball at the point of attack. And so whether it's him. Uh, on JT or me on Jalen Brown or Steph on Marcus Smart, you have to be physical at the point of attack, and I thought we did a good job of that. Thanks, Draymond.